Now moving further, using our knowledge and technique of radar plotting, we can also obtain the second group of pattern which is affecting our ship in a particular region. In some of the radar plotting questions, uh, this concept may be required. So let us now see how do we use the radar plotting technique to obtain the set and group of the pattern. So without a one request, uh, we can still connect it for some time. Okay, so that we don't miss the procedure. So let's go. So let's open up our radar plotting sheet. Let's mark the center as C Charlie. Let us show the scale which we are going to use. The scale is one centimeter equal to one nautical mile. Let us now show the all ships course and the speed. Our ship is steering the same course 340 with a speed of 50 knots. Now to obtain the set and group of the pattern, we need to have a stationary target available to us for observation. The stationary target could be a lighthouse, a boy, red cap, beaker, point of land, anchor ship, anything which is given as stationary in the question. So let's assume that uh, we have a lighthouse inside and we have observed that lighthouse using our radar and we have obtained a range and bearing. So let us now plot the range and bearing of that lighthouse on our plot. Let's assume that the lighthouse was observed at this particular bearing and at this particular range. So we have plotted it using the range and bearing on our radar plotting sheet. Let's assume that this uh, observation was taken at 0800 watts. And as per our naming, we name this lighthouse position as O Oscar. Now after a certain time, after our plotting interval, the lighthouse was again observed. And this time the lighthouse is at this relative position. This is the bearing of the lighthouse and the Charlie to lighthouse represents the range. This observation is taken at 0.12 hours. Uh, go ahead, Peter. Uh, I just ran, sir, so we didn't miss something. Uh, no, Peter, I think you did not miss anything. Uh, we were having a stationary object uh, in the radar plot. A stationary object is given. And we have just plotted its range and bearing at 8 o'clock and 12 o'clock. I hope you can see the lighthouses. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Right, so we are trying to find out the set and group of the current beta. And as per our naming, we name it as A Alpha. Now if we join the line Oscar to Alpha and extend it further, this will give us a relative line of approach represented by two arrows. So you can see the relative line of approach. Now in the next step we mark our port ships course and distance. So from point O in the reverse direction we mark out this vector. You can see the green color vector. The length of this vector is equal to the distance covered by port ship in the plotting interval. The free end is named as W with C and you can now see the C to Oscar represents the course and distance of the ship within the plotting interval. Now we also join W to E exactly in the same method which we did when we were plotting the target. So we join W to A with C to Alpha. You can see the red color vector joining with C to Alpha. Now this red color vector gives us the set and drift of the current. Alpha to W, pay your attention. 
And now, I'll show you the view gives us the set and the drift of the current during the plunging interval. One very important thing to understand here is when we were plotting a target, the target force was this C2 alpha. But when you are obtaining the set of the current, the set of the current is in the direction alpha to this C, not this C2 alpha. It is from alpha to this C. K to the Q gives us the set of the current. Now, why is that the set of the current is in the opposite direction? It can be easily understood. Let's assume that if there was no current in the area, our ship was proceeding on a course of 3 4 zero. So the lighthouse would move relatively in the opposite direction. So from O, the lighthouse would be moving on this green color track. And after 12 minutes, the lighthouse will be at the location of but instead of falling at VC, the lighthouse has instead gone to the location alpha. Now the lighthouse is stationary, lighthouse does not move. So how has it gone from VC to alpha? Actually what has happened is the lighthouse has not moved, but there is a current affecting our ship. And our ship has moved in the opposite direction. Our ship was no more than Charlie. Our ship has traveled in this direction because of the current. And relatively, the lighthouse appears to go from point C to alpha. Therefore, the set of the current is from alpha to this C. Shown by the direction of the arrow. And if you measure the distance between alpha to this C, this gives you the drift of the current. This is the drift of the current within the plotting interval. In our example, the plotting interval is 12 minutes. So by interpolating, you can find out the rate of the current also. The rate will be the drift in one hour. So this completes the technique of obtaining the set and drift of the current using a stationary object. Now Vita, let me know your doubts. Exactly, Vita. And you will be now A to W distance gives you the drift of the current for floating interval that is 12 minutes. And if you calculate it for 1 hour, it will give you the rate of the current. No problem. Having understood the basic plotting technique, we are now in a position to progress to our next uh, plotting method that is predict the action to take by object. So we have to basically predict the action to take. Action could be alteration of course and the alteration of speed by one ship to achieve the desired CPA. Now this is what is practically required on board. We need to find out that to obtain a desired result such as a desired CPA closest point of approach range what force has to be, what action has to be taken? The action could be alteration of course, action could be a, a alteration of variation in the speed. What has to be done by the own ship so that we are able to maintain the required CP? Or in case you have a collision or a close quarter situation, how should we avoid that close quarter situation? What should be our action? And what are all the possibilities available to the navigator? The possibilities could be, to give you an example, alteration of course to starboard. Another possibility could be alteration of course to port. And the third possibility could be increase or decrease of the speed. So we have to find out what all possibilities are there. And later on, we have to evaluate that as per the rules of the road, collision avoidance rules, 
which are called Eastmark Philippines is the most natural creation in compliance with Harmash. Let us now see an example where we are required to take a reaction for achieving a particular clearance or CPA range. We have the question on the screen. All ships course 055 kg screw CA 50 knots. Find the CPA, DCPA course, speed and aspect of the below target. The bearing and range of the target is given. At 0930, bearing is 105, range is 14 miles. After 6 minutes, 0936, the bearing is given as 105 degrees, range is 11.5 miles. And at 0942, the bearing is 104.5 and the range is 8.9 miles. We have to let the target pass ahead with a CPA of 1.5 miles. Find the three possible actions. This will be alteration of courses or speed to take at 9.45. Which of them is most preferable? So, Vita, have you understood the question? Any doubt in the question? Is that clear, Vita? Shall we see the solution now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Vita. Great. Moving on to the solution. So, just pay your attention for next Vita in 15 minutes, sir. So, the, you should get this done. Otherwise, it should not pass over your head. Okay, so let's go. Now, we need to maintain a CPA of 1.5 miles with this target. Important thing to notice that the action is given at 0945, that is 3 minutes after the last observation. So if you see the first part of the question is a simple plotting exercise. So all ship course and speed is given, we have to find the CPA, DCPA, course, speed of the target and the aspect. So this is a simple basic plotting question. The second part requires us to predict our action. So let us see how do we do this question. Let us first have the plotting sheet. I have not shown the full plotting sheet so that we can zoom in. We have shown a specific part of the sheet so that we can zoom in and the diagram is clear. Now let us uh, as usual first of all mark the scale. The scale which we are using is 1 centimeter equal to 1 vertical mile. Let us now show the center of the plotting sheet as C Charlie. Let us now show the onship course and speed. Onship course is 055. So you can see the green color arrow on that the circumference at 055. The speed is given as 15 knots. Speed is also marked. Let us now plot the first observation. First position 0930. The bearing is 105 and the range is 14 miles. So from point C using the graduation from the circumference at a bearing of 105 and at a range of 14 miles as per our scale we mark the first relative position of the target. This observation is given at 9.30 so the time is also mentioned alongside and as per our nomenclature this is named as O or sir. So we have the first position relative position of the target of the plot. Let us now mark the second position. You see the second position coming up. This observation is given at 942. We can also plot the 936 position. It will be somewhere in between these two observations. But we have not shown the 936 position here for clarity. In actual plotting, all the three positions can be shown. You will observe that all these three positions they fall in a straight line. 
so we are still awaiting on the 0942 position, the final position after the end of the blocking interval. And as per our long day service is marked as A Alpha. Charlie and radius as a very 
Sayang City of Aqua Time Miles Binal Draw in City Range Circuit So you have a City Range Circle in our plot now Now what we do is From point B Critical position of the target at 0945 We draw a inkjet to this CPA circle so from point B, we draw a tangent to the CPA circle. This tangent touches the CPA circle at this particular point. Let's name this point as N1. So you can see number 1 or N1 should be our new CPA point. If the target line of approach becomes Papa November 1, PN1, then you will see the CPA will be Charlie November 1, and which is the radius of the circle, which is taken as 1.5 miles. So to have a CPA of 1.5 miles, the target should move on a relative line of approach PN1, Papa November 1. So this is the new line of approach which is desired. We have shown this using three arrows. Now there is one more possibility of drawing a tangent. We can draw a tangent from point P onto this circle in this particular way also. Now why have we picked up the tangent P at one and not the other tangent? The reason for that is in the question it is mentioned we have to let the target pass ahead of us. Our ship is steering a course of 055. So our ship steering 055, the target has to pass ahead of us. That means of this particular tangent line, Papa number one. If we take the second tangent in this particular way, and the CPA is somewhere here. With our ship moving on a course of 055, the target would be passing astern of us. So that's why we have not picked up the second possibility of the tangent. So any doubts up to here with that? So the last part can explain how much answer is that you have not had the answer to the second question. Let's go. Now since we need the target to follow Papa number 1 line of approach, what we do is we now draw a line from point alpha. From point alpha we draw a line parallel to the direction of PN1 or N1. That is our new line of approach. So parallel to new line of approach, we draw a line from point alpha. You can use whichever plotting tool you have, set square, parallel ruler or sliding ruler. So from point alpha, we draw a line parallel to our new line of approach that is Papa number 1. You can see that line coming up. We need the free end of this line as Bremo. So we want the target to move on this line of approach. Now this line alpha to bravo. Alpha to bravo intersects the on ship course line that is the BO vehicle vector at this particular point. This is the intersection point of the new line of approach and the on ships course and distance vector WO. Let us name this intersection point as O1 or square 1. Now if you look closely, if our vessel or ship covers distance WO1, if on ship covers distance WO1 in any interval of 12 minutes, then in that case, WO1 a would become the new relative triangle. If our ship covers the distance of WO1 in a period of 12 minutes, then WO1 a would become our new triangle WO1 a. You 
when all the region water WO1A will be our new dry anchor and O1A will become our new line of approach and here at the flow 945 this is going to ensure that the required 1.5 mile CPA range is achieved. So this gives us uh, our first option that is the reduction of speed by all shape. So instead of WO, if we cover a distance of WO1 in 12 minutes, we will be able to attain or achieve a CPA of 1.5 miles. Now we measure this distance WO1 using our CPA. So we see this distance WO1 in 12 minutes. We interpolate and calculate the required speed and the required speed comes out to be 10 knots. So our ship which is presently moving at 15 knots, if the speed is reduced to 10 knots, our ship target would be WO1. The line of approach would be O1A and with a tip flow 945, this line of approach will result in the vessel CPA coming at point number one and one and maintaining a range of CPA range of 1.5 miles. Let us now see if we can attain or achieve the desired CPA using an alteration of course also. Now to find out the alteration of course, we pick up our compass. We open up our compass, we show it to the length of vector WO. This vector represents the distance covered by the ship in a period of 12 minutes. So we open up our compass equal to WO. Center our compass at point C. We center at C and radius equal to WO. We draw an arc. As you can see the red color arc coming up on the plot. Now this arc cuts the line AD which is parallel to our new line of approach. The arc cuts the line AD at two points. One is at this particular point. Let us name this point as O2 or Z2. And the other intersection point is this particular point. You can follow the laser pointer on the screen. So this is the second intersection point. Let us name this as O3. Now let us join W to O2 and W to O3. We have joined W to O2 using this vector, the green color vector, and now I am joining W to O3. So we can see W O2 and W O3. Now these two vectors which we have obtained, W O2 and W O3, will represent that if our ship moves on course W O2, if our ship moves on a course of W O2 without any change in the speed of the ship, then the new triangle would be W O2 A. This is going to result in a line of approach O2 A. And effective at 945, this will result in the vessel moving on line of approach B and 1, coming at CPA at point L1, which is desired CPA of 1.5 miles. Now if you look closely, the vessel was initially moving on a course of WO. To move on a course of WO2, the vessel will have to make a alteration to starboard. So if we make a alteration to starboard, equal to angle O W O2. Then after this alteration of course we will be able to achieve a CPA of 1.5 nautical miles. So we now read off the course W O2 and this gives us our new course to steer.
Now, this is a second option. Now, the third option which is available to us is to alter our course to WO3. If we alter our course to WO3, the new triangle would be WO3 E. The relative line of approach would be O3 E. Again, effective from 945, it will make the ship move on a track of D2 N1. And this will achieve the desired CK of 1.5 months. Now, if the vessel alters its course to WO3, you can see clearly our ship was initially steering WO. We will have to make a port alteration. So, alteration of course to port will result in our course as WO3. The amount of alteration is angle OWO3. We can now place our parallel ruler along with line WO3, use the calibrations of the circumference and measure our new course WO3 course. So, when we measure these courses, course WO2 comes as 081 degrees through. This is the first all course alteration option to us. And WO3 comes to be 332 degrees through. This is the second course alteration which is available to us. So, in all these three options, if we reduce speed to WO1, option number one, if we alter our course to starboard and start moving on WO2, this is option number two. And if we alter our course to port and start moving on a course of WO3, in all these three cases, the line of approach is in the direction of B2E. Effective from 945, any one of these actions will result, or you can see all three of these actions will result in the ship moving on number one, number one new line of approach, maintaining the required CPK, closest point of approach. So we are having a good look at the plot now. Let me know your doubts. Table to us now. First option is reduce speed to 10 knots, resulting in on ship temperature at the view over. Second option is alter course to support to the new course of 081 which is WO2. Third option is alter course to port to a new course of 332 degrees which is the course of WO3. So with all these three options available to us, we now evaluate the plot and we are able to observe that these two ships, all ship and the target ship, are crossing with a risk of collision. All ship is also having the target on her starboard side. Now, as per ROR, the crossing situation rule, all ship has to keep out of the way and shall, in the circumstances of the case statement, avoid crossing ahead of the other vessel. So, as far as ROR is concerned, none of the three actions contravene or contradict with ROR. All three of them are acceptable as per ROR. However, alteration of course to port is ruled out in this particular case because if you alter to port, one, it requires a much larger alteration. The amount of alteration which is required is much larger compared to the starboard alteration and even if you do it, the own ship would have to remain off course for a very long period of time. You see the rate of approach will become very less. O3 A leads to the rate of approach and our ship will have to stay off course for a much longer period. So alteration to port is not recommended in this case. Now out of the remaining two possibilities, that is alteration to starboard and reduction of speed, whenever the ship is out in open sea, 
and uh, we have good visibility in this case there is no mention of any restricted visibility so we assume there is good visibility alteration of course is always preferable to a reduction of speed one it is easier to do and second it will be readily apparent to the other guests so out of the three option which are available to us the most appropriate option would be to alter our course to starboard the new course would be the pu o2 line of approach would be o2 a effective at 945 it will be the shift move on the new line of approach half bar number one having its ca at number one which is the required ca of 1.5 miles the new course to be steered is 081 Effective from zero nine four five hours. So, any doubts in this matter? Uh, so, please, any action?